but I want to thank everybody for being a part of our Council on the Bus ride, for getting to experience the H and I Street bus lanes, which are moving 70 buses per hour during the peak period. We deployed these bus lanes as a part of our Mayor Muriel Bowser's overall effort to improve bus transit service, and we also made a concerted effort to build projects such as this in a much quicker time frame. So 40% of all bus riders who take the bus, at some point the bus travels through H&I Street. It's the first step for the Washington DC metro area here to really kind of move from a laggard in terms of prioritizing and moving people efficiently through our street by dedicating space to make buses the fastest vehicle on the roads during our peak hours. It looks like the pilot program is working, that this is truly an express lane. Most people seem to be very compliant. This project overall uh, cost us about $10,000 to implement. We also learned the importance of using red paint uh, to really highlight the lanes, and so we've got red paint now as an indication of where the bus lanes start and stop. It's a great reminder to everybody using the road that the, the buses that are moving people really have the priority over their single occupancy vehicles. We need to start thinking about our buses almost like an above ground rail system with high dependability, very quick access, uh, easy on, easy off. And that's what we've got to have so that they move through the city because once that happens, I think even more people will choose the bus. Buses are a very important part of our transportation network. There are certain parts of our city that are only bus accessible. The bus lanes give them an express priority and that's a good thing. But I keep coupling that with frequency. We don't want a bus lane with one bus an hour in it. We want a bus lane with multiple buses per minute if possible. Doing more dedicated bus lanes, making sure that they're protected and good enforcement will actually put us in a better position to increase the number of people that ride bikes, walk, take a scooter, do something other than get in their car. So it's like, it can get us straight through it. We've been getting calls at the DDOT call center asking for more bus lanes, which is really exciting, and some of them have been operators. Would you like to see more of this? Yes, especially on Pennsylvania Avenue. <laughs>